Hey tribe, hey, welcome back to my channel, Presence of the Goddess. Thank you guys for joining me today. Today is just gonna be a quick message for the tribe. So if it resonates, awesome. Appreciate if you subscribe, like, share those if it resonates too. I do appreciate you sending up a love beats and blessings whenever you receive this message. So we just wanna see whatever comes out in your spirit, whatever comes out for the tribe. All right. Not a swords, judgment. Something about to get on your nerves, or something is getting on your nerves, but it's gonna get better because the six of swords was right behind the judgment. So something had to happen for you to for things to get better. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah, because the ace of swords. Something had to be removed. Spirit had to remove something. Because somebody was not gonna stop playing in your energy. I'm also getting, you were stressed out about something, or you could be getting a lot of headaches because somebody was sending you mental, mental magic. Somebody's stressed out about you, so they're projecting that on you, or it's like somebody's sending that energy to you. I feel like this is somebody you could have cut the cord with, or you need to cut the cord with. Music could be very significant. There's going to be some type of music that's going to play that's going to confirm this reading for you. I'm getting like you had to detach yourself from somebody or from a situation with the Ace of Swords. Something had to be fully removed out of your life. Five of Wands because it was causing too much issues, too much conflict. Somebody was hiding their hands. Okay, when it comes to your material world or when it comes to your mind, somebody was playing with your mind, doing some type of mind magic. I don't know how you do that, but I guess. I'm also getting somebody was game stalking you online. Somebody had to, spirit, spirit not playing with you. Two of wands. When it comes to you, spirit not playing, they said they gotta go. Yeah, because they're playing in your energy. Somebody was playing in your energy. And it's like, nana, nana, boo, boo, I'm playing in your energy. You know what I'm saying? The two of wands. You could have left. You could have moved to another part of the world or town or the country. You did all you could to do something. So Spirit said, we doing the rest. Okay, so Spirit said, you did all you could. We doing the rest. Because you cleared your energy. You're not fooling with these people. They fooling with you, the two of pentacles here. Because somebody don't know how to let you go. Sagittarius season. Or you came to terms with something. You ended out a cycle. You did your part, okay, to to control a situation. You did your part to heal, to cleanse, and to forgive. But somebody did not accept this forgiveness. Or you forgave yourself. And somebody can't. Somebody is stubborn. They don't want to get out your energy. But Spirit said, get the hell out of my child's energy. <laughs> Spirit is not playing about y'all. I, I feel like somebody is very angry that you healed. But I'm also getting like, Spirit is very angry that somebody wants to keep on un trying to unheal you. It's like you could be wondering, like, why I keep going through the same type of test here? And you're like, Spirit, I already passed the test. Why you keep giving me back this test? And Spirit's like, it's not really me. I don't know. Or it's like, yeah, evidence. Yeah, you got proof that you have closed out a cycle. A karmic cycle. Saturn, Capricorn, Sweetheart, Cancer. Yeah. Okay. You get to lay this to rest, okay? Somebody's doing dirt magic on you. Somebody was trying to do, like, some magic on your child. Somebody's attacking somebody's baby. Or somebody been attacking you since you were a baby. Take it as a resonate. 21st, 22nd could be very significant. Somebody could have been doing this around Thanksgiving. Or around... Yeah. I'm getting like, you're about to get proof. Because in Scorpio season, you close out a karmic cycle in Scorpio season. But somebody tend to... They, they, they don't want to believe it. But you're protected here. It's not spirit that's doing it. Somebody's like, stay trying to open up a wound here that's already been healed. And I feel like um, spirit's not having that no more. 440, yeah, they're protecting you from some some attack here, okay? Somebody keeps on playing with dirt or something. I don't know. Yeah, the page of wands because they're angry. The nine of pentacles, they're so mad they want to slow you down because you keep on making progress. So every time you try to make progress, somebody's trying to 
like pull you back here you could be getting very frustrated yeah because the full card is like as soon as you get to this new beginning somebody's like yank somebody's trying to take something from you or pull you back 10 steps behind you could have did some type of prayer work or you prayed on your altar you recently just talked to your altar or to god or to your ancestors whoever you Whoever you communicate with, you communicate with them. They heard your prayer with the Page of Pentacles. That's why I'm getting you about to get some type of confirmation of a new beginning. Because you did all you could do. You keep on seeking God. It's like you're not turning back. You're not turning to salt. Somebody's really mad because you just, you're not triggered no more. You're not going to go back. Somebody really wants you to go backwards and you're not doing it. No matter how much they try. Okay. Yeah, somebody's a Virgo or a Sagittarius. Are you taking a leap at something? You coming out of hiding, okay? And you're gonna take a leap at something. Yeah, you going with some you going with someone I, I meant to say something else, but you could be going to some type of success is coming in towards you. You're being crowned for not looking back. I'm also getting you knew when to jump out and when to jump back in. Your discernment is so damn heightened that nobody can touch you because you know. You could be a cancer. You know when to come in. You know when to come out. I'm also getting, you're about to come out of hiding and take a leap at something. Your journey is about to get very exciting. And somebody wanted to keep that from you. They wanted you to just be in a hole and everybody forget about you. But people going to know your name. I'm also getting, you're going to tell your story. Somebody's trying to keep you from telling your story because it includes them. Yes, the two of wands, you made the right choices. And spirits are saying it's not your fault. Maybe because you're like, God, is it me? Is, am I doing something wrong? It's not you. Somebody keeps on trying to um, make you not be successful or do something. Six of wands here because you are destined for success. Yeah, the three of swords, somebody's jealous of your success. So they're steady trying to um, harbor your energy and do all these attacks on you i really feel like you're detached from this person you did all you could you cut the cord you are separated you moved you did all you could whoever this is for you you're not talking to this person or these people or whatever this energy is but they're steady trying to attack you because they're threatened by you and they don't want some information to come out i'm also getting they want to believe the lies they have said about you by saying oh you're not going to be nothing oh you're nothing you're the blah 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 you're a liar and it's not true okay you're coming out as the truth teller the truth seeker all right what's the end all and be all thank you spirit the sun card and the king of wands. The sun is coming out because you are fully in control of your destiny. All right. Not a wand. Something was so hard for you. You could not win. You could not win in this energy. Somebody was holding you back. It's like a pull. It's like every time you try to move, it's like, uh, get back here. And every time you're getting close to your your goal, to your success, yeah, the nine of cups here. Somebody was making offerings, five of wands, to bring conflict in your life, the star card. So you could be unhealed, the nine of pentacles. Somebody want to slow down your healing. But it's not working, okay? They're doing everything they could. And that's why spirit is stepping in and they're taking full control and cutting the tie themselves, okay? You did your part in. Now, now some of you guys did a cord cutting and maybe you did this within two months, Scorpio season, Virgo season, and it's coming to an effect here in Sagittarius season, okay? Yes, the Two of Pentacles, expect balance and the Ten of Cups and happiness, Okay. Yeah, the Queen of Cups, because you're fully in your power, the Empress card. You're very emotionally mature. You're very mature, the Empress. You know what you want. You know what you desire. You've been manifesting for a while, but it's been so hard for you because the people that said they love you or something like that has really like um been very negative towards you or something like that. I'm also getting like you forgiving them people, but them people seem to like hold on to a grudge and it has nothing to do with you. Okay, yeah, the justice. You're getting spiritual justice here. Yeah, truth is coming out. They're being exposed. I'm also getting somebody could be actually going to jail. They're in mentally in prison for what they have done to you or what they've been doing. You get to move on. You're moving on. Like I said, some of you guys, your life is about to get very exciting because you freed from something. Four of Pentacles. They cannot hold you back no more with the High Priestess. This spiritual attack is over. Yeah, things are about to get better for you with the Six of Swords. So let me end this out with one card here. Yeah, the promise is being fulfilled. The Spirit is guiding you to the promise they have for you. All right, you win. 
you win, all right? Yeah. Everything you've been manifesting, you're going to get it. Somebody could be a Leo. But somebody was power struggling with you to keep you from winning. And now it's your winning season. Continue to walk by faith, not by sight. Because it's paying off. You have learned all the lessons you had to learn for that karmic cycle. And they want you to fall into the trap of not learning it. And that's not right. Yeah, this is your past that has something to do with it. And they want to put your past is playing in your energy. Yeah. But your blessings coming in right on time. So it could be some type of material, financial abundance, or stability. All right. Love you guys.